This episode of this Doing Your Art podcast was taped a couple weeks ago with the then CWFH Heritage Champion, professional Peter Avalon. I hope you enjoy it. If you like, if you like it, please give me a follow on Instagram, Doing Your Own Podcast, Facebook, fan page, Doing Your Own Podcast, YouTube, Doing Your Own Podcast. And Twitter at Doing the Orton. That's at Doing underscore the underscore Orton. Now, without further ado, let's get into the podcast. to another episode of the Doing the Arm podcast. Today I have a very special guest, the CWFH Heritage Champion, Peter Avalon. Hello, hello, the biggest man in professional wrestling, professional Peter Avalon. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Anna. Um, thank you for being on my podcast again. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, were you a fan of wrestling growing up? Absolutely. Just like everyone else, I think, that's in the business, I was a uh, fan growing up as a little boy. Uh, my mom wasn't such a big fan, and she wouldn't let me uh, watch WWE Raw. She would come in on the last hour and turn it off, and I would protest and protest and and, uh, and complain and complain, and I eventually got my way and got to sit through both hours of Raw. Hmm. Um, who were you a fan of growing up? Number one, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, I think, is the greatest of all time. Hmm. Um, do you, um, what was your favorite match growing up? Oh, uh, not so much matches as opposed to just personalities was what stuck out to me more so growing up. Uh, the Rock, Steve Austin, different characters would stick out to me and then different moments like when uh, Mick Foley got tossed off the cell and things like that. It's not until I got older that I really appreciated the actual wrestling uh, performance. And then uh, Kurt Angle versus uh, Shawn Michaels at uh, WrestleMania, I think 21, is my favorite match. Mm. Did you have a favorite theme song growing up? Oh, you know what? That's funny because uh, a lot of us, when we're, cut, when we're doing a road trip back from uh, uh, Championship Wrestling from Arizona, We'll play different theme songs, and we'll talk about our favorites. And my favorites were always, uh, growing up, was Gold Dust and uh, Gangrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the brood music. I really li- I like Gangrel's music, too. <laughs> right? It's really cool. It's like it's like a, an industrial rock <laughs> kind of thing. Mm. How, how and where did you get started wrestling? Uh, I got started at this uh, small school in Anaheim, California. Uh, I was trained by uh, uh, older pro wrestling guerrilla guys, uh, Charles Mercury, Ronin, uh, Mr. Excitement. Uh, no, they're not wrestling anymore. And then uh, Scorpio Sky was also one of my first trainers. And he's still, he's still uh, around doing his thing and tearing it up. Um, I had my initial training there uh, for six months, and then I had to stop because I, I, I broke my arm. Oh. Um, so you've been um, a tag team partner with Ray Rosas for a number amount of time. How did this relationship get started? Uh, 
honestly, I think Ray and I were just naturally drawn to each other. Uh, we started doing a lot of the same shows and uh, having a lot of the same kind of comedy and just and really just connecting as people. And then uh, they didn't really have anything for us at Hollywood, so they kind of stuck us together and it ended up working out uh, that we had natural chemistry. And then when we actually started thinking about, hey, let's make a team out of this, we, we discovered that we have the same uh, birthday. Um, uh, which is June 14, next Wednesday. That's PP Ray Day. Uh, so we found this just natural connection. It's like, oh, wow, we have the same birthday and everything. So it kind of makes sense why we have this connection. And uh, what makes our, and that's, I think, what makes our team work so well is our, is our connection. Up to this point in your career, um, like, who has been your favorite opponent? Yuma. Me and him are, I would consider Yuma my number one rival. Uh, I always feel we have great performances. We have gotten to wrestle different uh, parts of the world. We got to go into Mexico and wrestle each other. We've gotten to, we got brought up all the way up to Alaska to wrestle each other. And we've wrestled each other all over uh, California in uh, PWG, uh, on Hollywood, you name it. Do you have any upcoming wrestling shows? Absolutely. I'm going to be at Bar Wrestling on Thursday, June 8th, this Thursday. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm wrestling, but I'm, I'm thrilled to be there. That's right. That's down the street from my house. Oh, uh, are you going to be there? Uh, no. I don't, I, don't know. I don't think so. No. Bummer. Well, hopefully they'll be off something that you can watch it on the, on the internet or something. Oh, I think I'm too young to go there yet. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think it is 21 and over, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, eventually. Eventually. <laughs> I also want uh, to let everybody know that the Red Carpet Rumble is right around the corner. It's Hollywood's biggest event of the year. It's on Sunday, June 25th, all the way in uh, Oxnard, California, Port Wainimi, the Ocean View Pavilion. It's our, it's our big event, our WrestleMania, if you will, and... There's some huge matches. We've got some big names coming in. And that that's the event I, I would love everybody to be able to join me at. Uh, you yourself, definitely come by and if yeah. you can. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to that one. Oh, I love it. I'd love to hear that. So it's, it's free, so it's definitely can't miss. It starts at 3 o'clock. Um, how, how, was, how was PWG for you? Uh, PWG was cool. Uh, I was there for four years. Uh, 2010 was my first match there. Um, it's such a it's such it's such a place to to be. Everyone wants to be there. Everybody wants to perform there. Everybody wants to have that check mark that they've been there. And I got to be there uh, barely a year and a half. Uh, being a wrestler, they put me in there, and uh, it definitely made me grow up. It's very stressful, uh, but it, it's a it's a hell of a time. It's an incredible experience. Um, I'm a big fan of hate. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, that's all Ray. That's Ray Rosas' creation. That's all. His, that's his mind at work. So, so, you're, so uh, you're also a member of hate. I am. Yes. Um, we have a good, we have a good message. We hate. We hate a lot. A lot of the. Uh, the goof, the bad stuff in wrestling. We just want Southern California to have good wrestling. <laughs> um, up to, in this point of your career, who, um, sorry, what has been your favorite match to be a part of? Oh, a lot of my title matches at Hollywood were some of my favorites. Uh, me and Yuma at the 2015 Red Carpet Rumble, that one was a, uh, a really big one for me. Uh, I really enjoy my matches with Ray Rosas that we had when IWL was running in Baldwin Park. Uh, my work, my work uh, with uh, EC3 and TNA was one of my favorite matches just because of the uh, experience. Uh, yeah, probably those those matches. There's a few I just can't think of them right now, unfortunately. How long have you been in were TNA? You? Oh, how long were you in TNA? Wait. Uh, six months. Not too long. I was there. 
they, kept, they, they liked what I did in San Diego and they kept bringing me back. Um, and then when Jeff Jarrett left, that seemed to be uh, the end of the nerds. Huh. Are you a fan of professional wrestling now? Yes. I am a fan of professional wrestling. I love professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is such a mixed bag of craziness, zaniness, and uh, everybody has such a unique take on it. And there's just so much different kind kinds of wrestling. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the old, of the new, of the current. Um, is there anyone that you're a fan of now? I like David Starr. I had a match with him when I got to do Combat Zone, uh, but it was uh, wasn't a tr was not a traditional match. So I definitely like to have more of a traditional singles match with David Starr from the East Coast. Uh, somebody out here uh, that I haven't had the opportunity to work with. Mm. Yeah. Can't get somebody at the top of my head right now. Maybe Jake Atlas from Santino Brothers. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Okay, just, um, we're gonna, you know, final questions here. Um, sure. Is there any, is there any way, um, sorry. Is there any way people can, like, follow you on social media? Oh, absolutely. I'm all over the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. My Twitter is twitter.com slash pavalon, P-Avalon, one word. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's P-P-A, all day. Same thing for my Snapchat. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash Peter Avalon. Uh, you can also visit my website, peteravalon.com. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being on my podcast. Yeah, thank you. Uh, if you see me at Paul Wrestling, uh, let's get a picture and we'll do the uh, the Orton post together. Oh. Or yeah. if at a future show, not the bar. You can't get to the <laughs> bar, but if, if a future show, if you catch me, we'll do the Orton post together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll remember that. <laughs> oh, please do. I want to do it. I want to do the picture. Okay. Um, thank you again. Thank you. Take care.